What up guys, this is Monkey Figure Reviews and today I'm back with another Figures News Updates video discussing upcoming Brempresto slash Bandai Spirits figures. It has been a while since my last video and quite a bit of updates but I'll try to not take too long. I will also update with some official images uh, for some of the figures I've discussed previously. Also the dates that I mentioned in this video they are definitely not accurate, um, probably delayed by at least two to three months due to the coronavirus. So take it as just like a sort of like a little reference with the order of the figures coming out. And um, of course, talking about the coronavirus, I haven't really talked about it. I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. It is a weird period for all of us. And you know, just try to keep yourself happy by watching or reading One Piece. <laughs> Alright, so uh, the first one is One Piece magazine figure, Piece of a Dream Volume 1, which is Ace. I've actually shown this picture previously, but I figured since I'm going to talk about the whole set again, let's just start with him. So he's supposed to be 13cm tall, and he is supposed to come out this month, which is April. Um, that's not happening for sure. And... Generally, my thoughts for the whole set of this magazine figure is that I think they look really, really cool, amazing, and uh, obviously to see them in those marine outfits is kind of interesting. Ace looks pretty good here. Uh, looks like it's being propped up by this supporting stand. Uh, his head is kind of like floating off, so I wonder what they're going to do to attach it to the head. And details-wise from this image, what I can tell, looks pretty good. Everything looks alright. This is uh, Volume 2 which is Sabo and he is also supposed to be 13cm but is slated to come out in May uh, from what I can see it's also very good and I think this is the first time we have a figure of Sabo making this kind of expression which is kind of funny similar to Ace he also has sweat beads on his forehead and he's wearing the marine cap of course without his gl not without his trademark gloves and uh, his weapon the, the pipe so looks pretty alright and there's also a sort of like an invisible white base here. The real one is probably gonna be those plastic black kind of base. And this is Sweet Style Pirates, the next entry which is Boa Hancock and she is around 23cm and is supposed to come out in May. She has two versions, but for some reason, I can't find a picture of the second version. So I think this is version A. And if you're not yet familiar, Sweet Style Pirates, basically, we have uh, we have featuring female characters of One Piece with their animal or, I don't know, pet companions. So we have Nami with, like, chopper outfit, Perona with her, her dummy kind of outfit. And here, obviously, Hancock in an outfit with the snake theme. I forgot what's the snake name, um, but this is basically the, the skin design on the snake. And it's kind of on a Chinese kind of tea pao, I think. Overall, it looks pretty alright, I guess, but it's not really my kind of thing. Uh, I haven't really collected the others too. So, uh, looks pretty okay. Facial expression seems to be alright. Uh, just, I don't know, I just kind of, to me, it's just... This series is, is a bit too gimmickish for me, but I can also understand why people like them. So if you enjoy what you see here, you like what you see, maybe you should keep this in your radar. Alright, now this one I'm more excited for. This is the Better Record Collection Luffy, which is also supposed to come out in May. Now, uh, Better Record Collection is a new series. The first one is Sanji, which I previously reviewed. And... In terms of the scale, I am not too sure because I don't have the height information for this figure and for now, we can't really tell if they will be consistent throughout the series but I really, really hope they do um, especially for figures that they can make consistent and um, Sanji is actually pretty good so I think, or rather I hope that this figure turns out well too in terms of the final product but just looking at the design itself, he looks good the pose is dynamic, the sculpt looks to be in high detail, uh, his body is also very very muscular to show how buff he got, Luffy and Wano. So the Wano outfit itself, the kimono, the sword you can see, 
all seems to be pretty good. Another thing is his right arm is also coated with Haki and we really don't have a lot of Luffy figures with uh, Haki. The other one I have is the Ichiban Kuji Wano but this is much cheaper, it's gonna be a price figure. So I think if you want something like this and if this turns out good, this will be a good buy. The unfortunate thing for me is that of course it comes with this big black base which I really really don't like similar to the Sanji figure but well what can I say? I guess it's unfortunate. And he's kind of his pose is kind of just jumping and punching in midair. Uh, I like it actually. Yeah. Just wish that the bases are nicer looking. The hair looks great too. Face, I think the face is one of the better ones. Um, one of the better ones in recent Luffy figures. This is uh, the magazine figure volume 3, which is Luffy, and his height is 17 cm supposed to come out in June. I'm not sure why he's a little bit taller, maybe due to the, the body position. But once again, the face is very, very funny. You can see Luffy just like so afraid and he has this like bump on his head, supposedly after being punched by Garp. Uh, his cap is also, is also flying off towards the back. Wonder how they're going to show this, how they're going to attach this. And sweat beads and his mouth is really, really white. So I think the whole three brothers and Garp thing, they're kind of more a funny kind of uh, collection. Not Maybe not everyone wants it because it's not canon. But uh, if you like the whole set, I think getting all of them will look good when displayed together. Okay, so uh, next we have more figures from the Treasure World Cruise Journey series. This is Volume 4 and this is Nefertari Vivi. She is around 20cm and is slated for release in June. So... Uh, I think my next photo, okay, I don't have it, but this, basically, she comes out as a pair with Rebecca. And I think the theme are kind of, for this, this time around, they're kind of in Chinese theme outfits. So you can see a VV is wearing this red, uh, red kind of, I guess, again, Tipao dress with some of her kind of, uh, her alabaster design bracelets or whatever you call this thing around her knee. And she's holding this string thing. I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> is that a weapon? It's been so long, I can't, re I can't really remember. And overall, I think she actually looks pretty good. And of course, her forehead is really, really big. <laughs> That's Vivi for you. The hair looks great. More angles of the figure. Well, one thing I do realize is that after getting Crocodile, at least, this is the only one I got from the whole... Treasure World Cruise Journey series so far. Usually, from prototype to the actual product, there is a significant and observable downgrade in terms of quality. So I don't really expect this quality to come out. It's going to be much worse. Like for me, I really wanted to get Reju and Sanji, but they turned out really weird. Like the face was sort of different from the prototype, which is kind of disappointing. And uh, this is Rebecca, so kind of in like a martial arts outfit, holding a sword, which I think is hers. She actually looks very, very good. Her face looks really, really good here. And she's posing a closer look of her. More details on the outfit, as you can see. Really beautiful, I gotta say. So you have the two princesses kind of teaming up. And you can see the way they design with the flow of her outfit. To give the figure more life. Okay, I'm not sure why this is here. I think this is my mistake. <laughs> and um, both of them, next to each other, this will be how they look like. Pretty decent. I'm not um, really interested in this one, unfortunately. Because usually I buy figures if they're really, really good. Or if I really like their character. Especially if they're not cannons. If not, then maybe... I wouldn't get them. Now, this is another one. This is big, big, big on my list. It is another figure in the Battle Record Collection series, which is Katakuri. I saw on my figure collection, it says that the height of this figure is 27cm. So, that is definitely an error. I checked that quite a while back, so I'm not sure if they changed it, but 27cm is definitely an error. That's like almost Grantista height. Um, this is probably similar to, you know, the Sanji scale, maybe around 
17 cm and he's supposed to come out in June too. I really really like him but um, in this image for some reason he looks kind of pale like white whitewash in a sense. Uh, it's really really weird not sure why but we have photos of him real life prototypes that came out in some of the conventions and to be honest look at the difference of the skin tone color. This looks much more healthier and definitely better and I gotta say the pose is badass really really badass first of all his face looks great um with the with the teeth and everything oh my god please i hope they don't screw this up they have been really bad at doing mouths recently so i hope this katakuri one don't screw it up please bandai spirits ben presto next his muscles look amazing look at the sculpt holy shit like uh freaking hell the blood vessels everything so rip and buff really really crazy and of course his right arm he's using his Daredevil powers we don't really have any figures of him uh, doing that yet so you can see him doing that uh, enlarging his right arm and with on top of that it's also coated with Haki so dude this figure has a huge potential to be really really amazing if they don't screw it up uh, rest of the outfit you can see for yourself pretty standard designs of Karakuri but man the upper body sculpt really really incredible um, I kind of hope that this is bigger than the BWFC because the BWFC while amazing it's really really small so kind of want I sort of want a bigger Karakuri since I don't have the POP and I didn't buy the King of Artists too because I don't like the face close up shot of him just look at it <clears throat> even the tattoos look to be really really good but just the muscles man and his face the likeness it's almost perfect so pray hard guys that production don't screw this up because man I'll be bloody disappointed if they do another shot of his arm really badass I, I, I kind of like want some of it to be white though it's kind of weird that it's, it's this part like this part's flying out of the mochi arm it's kind of skin tone color it looks kind of weird maybe if it's white it'll be better and maybe um, make the figure more dynamic in terms of colors all right so uh, this is the magazine figure volume 4 which is GARP and it's really weird because I went on my figure collection and it says he's 13 cm and he's supposed to come out in July so when I first saw it's 13 cm I'm like hmm like is that an error most likely right but I can't remember where but I saw an image of the four figures kind of on a level platform and Gump actually looks pretty small he is not in scale uh, in you know relatively I guess compared to the three brothers so if you were to put him side by side with the three brothers he's gonna look sort of very very tiny and weird and doesn't really match up I guess they can't really make a a big gap and they want you to sort of place him behind the three brothers on a raised platform to sort of form that that kind of uh, the kind of scene but I really wish that it's not 13 cm I hope it is not I hope it's bigger than I expect because I really really want an old gap figure like come on we don't really have any old gap figures except for some of the old DXF and uh, the POP so this is a great opportunity to give this legend an amazing piece so if it's big it will be amazing and I, de I definitely will get this if they don't screw this up okay next entry is the glitter and glamour series it is why Hancock finally in her original outfit so once again two versions of this figure and they are supposed to come out in July now um, let me see if I have a close-up yeah I really don't but let's just talk from this picture first uh, I, I kind of like her original outfit but for some reason here uh, the face the forehead seems to be really really wide and I think it's a little bit too much so it throws off the likeness for Hancock to me other than that I think the pose wise is very Hancock uh, the figure looks great in terms of like her body figure looks great the details on it looks pretty decent too not 
stand, kind of like a standard GNG, not hyper realistic design. So these are some real life shots. And I'm not sure if these photos are edited, but <clears throat> the red looks very good. Of course, the chest area looks amazing. Yeah, it's just, to me, like the forehead, I'm not sure why, <laughs> it's just, I don't think it's that white. Or uh, it could be, you know, them doing her pouty expression and have those eyebrows a little bit lower. Yeah, but I don't think it is the best. Still pretty good. I, I'll probably still get it. This is the second version, which is purple in color. Most of the most of it has changed from the outfit. This is the real life shot. Her body looks really, really amazing. And you can see, I'm not sure if this will be the actual base, but I hope not because they keep changing the way the base are designed, the bases are designed. Another shot of her, version B. One thing I noticed is that this thing looks really weird. Like, this looks hand-drawn, which, like, why, why is that? Like, <laughs> look at the lines. Yeah, it should be like very nicely printed kind of pattern. But this looks hand-drawn and crooked for some reason. Okay, uh, next we are going to the DXF Grand Line Man Wano Country series. And this is Brook, which is uh, the Volume 7. And he is supposed to be released in July too. So uh, once again, the DXF series, they are coming out with the whole Straw Hat crew. And this is basically Nick's in line, Brook. Looks pretty amazing uh, because it's Brooke. He's always very funny looking, and he's supposed to be like a like a ghost or zombie here. So I can't really tell if this is supposed to be a little bit of like from opaque to translucent material. So a little bit of see through to give that effect from this photo. Um, but you can see basically some holes to make him look like a, a dead zombie or skeleton, which is really really funny. Uh, this is Chopper, and he is supposed to, uh, it says Volume 7 too, so no idea why. And I have two release dates for him, July and September, no idea why too. Um, but we basically just have Tiny Chopper in his Wano Ninja outfit, looking really cute. So, not a lot to talk about here. Not a lot. And uh, these are some real life photos, and I think maybe you can really see that. It's a little bit, a little bit more opaque around the center, around the upper half, and towards the ends here, towards the bottom, maybe it just goes towards that kind of translucent look to give him a little bit of more ghostly feel to it. I think, having not seen this in real life. Now this one, this is uh, a disaster, in my opinion. This is the King of Artists, Zoro. His height is 14 cm and also supposed to come out in July. Now, uh, when I first saw this image, I'm like, dude, what the hell are they smoking, man? Look at that face. Like, just look at it. Like, please don't tell me that looks like Zoro because no way that looks like Zoro. His face looks horrible. Like, okay, if I, if I were to just cover his face, I think the rest of the figure is still pretty good, pretty acceptable, but man, what's up with that man? He looks like it's, I don't know man, he's high and sleepy, like, he's kind of, kind of he's kind of like emanating Kizaru, kind of like a, like very high vibes here, <laughs> with the weird smile, and I thought the King of Artists Luffy Wano was bad. This might potentially overthrow that figure, which is wow, he's just... To me, I really, really cannot accept this face. Just doesn't look like him. Of course, uh, if you look at the details, the swords, the outfit, I think the kimono with the green cape behind looks alright. Sword looks alright. Let's see if this time round they learn their lesson and make the sword back to a harder material or they still insist on saving costs and using a very, very soft, bendable PVC which resulted in your weird uh, King of Artists Luffy Wano figure. So this is the real life shots of him and my god the face really. No way. 
I really don't like that at all. That's the only thing I can say. And um, also, if you were just to, just to compare this and Wano Luffy, King of Artists, you can also tell that the style and the design of both of them are very, very different. That Luffy is kind of more cartoonish, and here they're actually going for a more realistic look. Um, you know, uh, similar to the earlier King of Artists designs. So, it's kind of, I think it would be weird if you were to put both of them together, but we will see. That's just my postulation um, based on what I see so far. Now, uh, this is another series, sorry, another entry in the Treasure World Cruise journey. It is Volume 5. We actually have Ace and Marco, which I suppose are dressing up as Sherlock Holmes and Watson. Now, they're supposed to be released in August, and in my opinion, they actually look really cool, really badass, and um, definitely better than Vivi and Rebecca for me. So let's look at Ace first. He looks really smart, really good looking, holding a pistol, or should I say maybe a revolver uh, on his, in his right, right hand, and of course, kind of like a Sherlock Holmes cap over here. And in the Sherlock Holmes detective outfit, even the base is kind of like bricks, supposed to mimic, I guess, the streets of, the, the, I don't know, London or whatever. But he looks really good. Outfit looks good. Uh, I think it just, for me, when you have like figures dressing up, looking smart, looking really badass, really, really, looking really cool, is, <laughs> I have to praise it. They look really badass. The hair itself looks great. Design-wise, style-wise, I guess, is also pretty similar to the previous series. More angles of Ace. You can also see the freckles on his face. The creases on his outfit here. And this is Marco. I actually really like this Marco. I think he looks so badass and cool uh, it's Wat as Watson, especially now when we know he's a doctor. So this is kind of like a bit tongue-in-cheek. And he's holding, I guess, a cane, which is supposed to work as a weapon, which I think Watson also uses. And just looking really dapper in the suit too. Can't really see uh, close-up details of some of the things here. But Alfie Weiss looks good. Amazing, not a lot of shading as far as I can tell. Facial likeness is good too. And wait till you see both of them together. This is weird. I think uh, Ace is supposed to be on the left here, so they're kind of looking at each other, partners in crime. And very likely, I will actually want to get both of them. This is how they look like in real life. Looks really, really cool. It's just the Sherlock Holmes and Watson thing and suits, you know. People dressing up in suits. Amazing. So back to the DXF Grand Line series. This is the Grand Line Lady Wano Country Volume 2 after Nami and this is Nico Robin. And he's suppo she's supposed to come out in, Aug in August 2. So um, I like the Geisha design. So overall, this looks really, really good. She's also a little bit paler I guess that's how, you know, like the makeup and everything, the geisha dresses up and put on their body, f their face. So she's kind of in a pose, performing a dance, I guess. And I really do wish that they make a GNG version of her because I'll definitely be getting that. She looks great here. Uh, and But style-wise design, I think you can just see for yourself. Not much to talk about here. Another photo of her. Her face looks good and... Just really, really cool. Fits Robin so much. Really like it. And next is uh, back to Grand Line Man. And this is Wano Country Volume 8. Frankie, I think, he's the last one. So, he is supposed to come out in September. So, one month after Robin. And basically, it's just him in his Wano outfit too. With smiling and being super just like how Frankie always does and I think you can see for yourself they can see how tight this whatever he's wearing his kimono or shirt around his arms are <laughs> looks ridiculous looks like wraps then more than like clothing or anything but this is how it is 
Alright, and um, this is the four of them, the new four figures to be announced and how they look like next to each other. I don't think I have a photo of all the whole crew together yet. I don't think there's any photo of that uh, out there. So unfortunately, can't really give you a gauge of how the whole Wano outfit crew look like. Alright, now um, this is Gwentista Zoro, Manga Dimensions. And he is supposed to be out in August. Now, as the previous manga dimensions, we basically just have the Granted Star figures. And we have kind of them in sort of like a 2D design. Uh, and this is what you have. And they go for a much more expensive price. I think perhaps even more expensive than an Ichiban Kuji. For essentially the same figure with different paints. And it's not my kind of thing, but some people are completionists, they want to get everything, and some people do like it. So, um, just sharing this here with you guys, but personally, it is a no-no, not for the price, and not for the paint, paint job. I mean, after all, like, to me, the Grantista for One Piece is also not really that good, so I don't think it's really worth it to slash, you know, 60, 70 bucks on a design that is not really great. Okay, so uh, oh, we have more angles of him, so I'll just quickly speed through them. That's like a 360. <laughs> Alright, so this one is a new series. It is the Maximatic 1, I think, featuring Monkey D. Luffy, and his height is 17cm, supposed to come out in August. So, I'm... Thing, I think that Maximatic series, uh, they have done up a few figures in Dragon Ball uh, for Dragon Ball characters and from what I've heard from some people, some of the followers of this channel, the Maximatic Dragon Ball f figures are pretty good. So I will be interested to see how this turns out, especially in terms of scale. Apparently the s in terms of scale wise, they are a lot bigger than your usual kind of like, you know, dynamic figures. And that will be interesting to see. And um, obviously, it states here he's supposed to be 17 cm, and 17 cm with him sort of crouching down. So that's actually quite a big size, from what I can imagine. And I don't think we have a lot of pictures. I think I think this is the only one. So from what I can tell from this f image, looks pretty alright. Looks good. Uh, the creases and details and design looks to be. You know, commendable facial expression to be on point, but we will have to see how he looks like in real life. Now, um, I have uh, other information on some extra figures. I think this is the S Culture Sabo that was released quite some time back, and f apparently they are doing a re-release. I'm not sure what's the exact date. Um, but this is actually a cool figure to get, in my opinion. Back in the day, I really wanted to get him because he is actually in the same scale as your P.O.P. figures. So, uh, Sabo P.O.P. was really, really rare and expensive. So I thought maybe I would get this guy sort of as an alternative to uh, the P.O.P. and yet fits the scale. And of course, even in terms of the quality, the facial likeness and everything, this figure is absolutely amazing. The height and size is good. So if it's, it is a reissue and it's the same price, I recommend for those of you who missed out and want a good size Sabo to get this figure. Alright, um, sorry I can't really find the exact date and more information, but from what I know, it is getting a re-release. Similarly for this Zoro, he is also a pretty old S cultures. I think same series that, that was released at the same time as this Sabo. And for me, this Zoro is he's good, but not the best S cultures Zoro. The best one for me is the one with him rushing forward and pulling out the sword from his sheath. That is the best one for me. Um, but this is also this is still pretty good. Uh, but to me, the facial likeness wise is uh, not. I wouldn't say it's ten upon ten. Uh, it's not. It could be could be improved, and also I feel that the hair here for the figure is a little bit too green, it's kind of like a very very saturated green color. So this is also getting a re-release. No dates that I know of. 
So if you guys know, uh, do post them in the comment section below so others can see as well. Alright, uh, it's a long video, my voice is almost gone. Uh, so I hope this gives you all the information you need for the figures that are coming out for now. Probably summer will be announced, but I expect that news will be slow due to the current situation. Once again, stay safe, stay healthy, and thank you so much for supporting Monkey Figure Reviews as always. I will see you guys very soon. Goodbye.